in this Titan program video, we'll be using the fast track method with very little detail. If you need more explanation or more detail, please watch the Titan basic programming video. The first step is to clean up our template and prepare our drawing, and then to save it. We need good, clean, joined parts to save and save them into your desired location, avoiding spaces and special characters in the name, as this will ultimately become the name of the program. The next step is to offset 3 sixteenths or .188 for the saw file and the material blanks to be used for simulation. Offset the sink to the inside only if you're going to use this drawing for a saw or a saw jet. And if you are going to save these drawings, we'll do that in step 3 using Save Selected from the Home tab. And then selecting all and only the geometries that we're going to program our saw or saw jet to cut. I'm going to use the original name and just add an SJ at the end of it for saw jet. And I'll save this drawing into my same customer folder. Step number four is to delete the inner sink cutout, leaving only the geometry that we're going to machine on the Titan. Step five is to mirror all of the parts. We're going to mirror them to the left of the zero. And I'll press F3 to turn on ortho to keep both points of my mirror line straight. And I'll choose no to keep originals. And then I'll press F3 again to turn ortho off. Move all the labels back to the inside of the perimeter if needed is the second part of step five. These parts are all partially prepared for programming the Titan. So step six is to go to File, Save As, and I'll use the same job name and just place a T for Titan at the end of it. So I have three files for this job, the original, one for the saw jet, and now one for the Titan. Step number seven is to move all parts away from each other so no outside perimeters are touching, which is already done for this drawing. Step number eight is to set materials, which we'll find on our 3D tab. We'll usually set the material top or the thickness to 1.2 for 3CM or to 0.8 for 2CM. And we'll do this for all three material blanks, one at a time. And step number nine is to temporarily turn off the material layer by going to the Layers tab in our Project Manager and underneath User Layers, unchecking Material so we don't accidentally break or explode it in step 10. I'm going to use the break method. I'll find break under edit and I'll have geometries and individuals selected so I can use my endpoint snap to select the exact breakpoints that I need, separating all of the cut types. And don't forget to turn the material layer back on, which is step 11. And then step 12 is we're going to save the drawing and just overwrite the original file. Step 13 is to set tool directions, which we'll find under the machine tab. I'll start by setting tool direction on my open geometries, the seams, walls, and edges. For open geometries, I should select Reverse, Left, and No. And then I'll click on each geometry and verify or change the tool direction so the arrow appears on the correct side of the part. If you click the same geometry a second time, it will reverse the direction of the arrow and also the side of the geometry that it's on. Next, I'll set tool direction 
to the inside of the sink, which is a closed geometry. The correct settings are counterclockwise, inside, and manual. When I select manual, I get prompted to pick a start point on the closed shape while I select it. So I'll select the longer edge of the solid side, avoiding the thinner front edge. And after verifying that I get tool direction on all geometries that I'm going to cut, I can close out of the tool direction window. And step number 14 is to move all the parts to make room for the Titan Table template, which we already have done. So we can insert the table template, which we'll find on the Titan tab, which is step 15. And if the icons are grayed out, enable the Titan commands by going to Machine Profile Select and choosing Titan. And step 16 is verify that material layers are turned back on, and then move and rotate parts onto the table. And step 17 is to use Save Selected to save any extra parts and then delete them from this drawing. We can skip this step because all the parts fit on our table. Step 18 is to copy, move, and or rotate all vacuum pods under the parts and then delete all the extras. Step 19 is to apply the proper machining styles to the correct geometries. The order in which we apply the styles will be the order of operation that the machine will run those tools. So I'm going to follow the suggested order of applying the styles. In this job, I'll be using wall scribes, seams, outside profiles, and then profile in the sink. So I'll right click on my first style, wall scribes, and then I'll apply it to the geometries that I select. And I'll follow the recommended order, seams, outside profiles, and then profile the sink. Step 20 is to change any order of the operations if you wish. I'm satisfied and going to keep them in the order that I applied them. Step 21 is to run simulation, which I prefer to watch in an isometric view. And then I'll press the Shade Solid Simulation button, which you may have to click twice. Now with the part solid and shaded, I can press play to watch the simulation. And I'll usually speed it up. What I'm looking for is watching for any tools that may collide into another part or a pod. And in simulation, it will look like the tool is plunging through solid stone to profile and polish the sink. But with this program, our blanks were pre-cut on our saw jet and we also cut the sink out with it, so there really isn't any material there. And then I find it easiest to close simulation using the button on the additional toolbar. Step 22 is to save. First I'll press V for view on my keyboard to go back to a top view, and then go to File and Save and overwrite the existing one. And now I can send the G-code, which is step 23. Add in job notes and print out the job sheet if you wish. And if there were any parts that we saved selected for this job, go back and finish programming them. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. It's